Zdar bandu, doba je těžká, ale ne pro Backstage TV. A proto i v tomhle týdnu další díl Backstage Home Office. Naším dnešním hostem a opět na další dva díly je slavný producent, slavný kytarista a člen řady slavných kapel. Mým hostem nejenom pro dnešní den je Roland Grapou. První otázka samozřejmě bude směřovat ke vzpomínce jednou z tvých hudebních aktivit, Roland, je taky působení v kapele Krejsu. Jak na tohle období vzpomínáš? Uh, if I remember something, yeah, of course. Uh... We had a good time, not long. I think it was around a period of one year. And uh, so we we worked on one song, I remember, and uh, Chris Sangaridis mixed it, and uh, we did a video and some shows together. So it was a lot of fun, yeah. But for me, it was a bit too much driving and, uh, you know, for these kind of weekend gigs or what we did uh, was too much work, you know, like, um, traveling in a car like six hours this direction, next day back home six hours and just for one show you know okay díky no a co další české kapely Rolande znáš nějaké a spolupracoval jsi s některýma I know so many bands but I don't want to offend now someone who I don't remember in that moment <laughs> um, I worked with so many, like Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Xco was the first band I worked with. I think it was uh, 11, 12 years ago, first time. Mm -hmm. Then Sebastian and Eagleheart, of course, uh, Citron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fred, <laughs> of course. Um, I was a big fan of Karel Gott from oh. when, I was in, when I was in Germany. I always loved his voice and um, I even you know this kind of technique I, i was really thinking he's very cool i still was in halloween i remember i was talking with andy darius about carol god so i bought a best of cd uh, around 97 or something mm -hmm. so uh, i was a big fan of him. a co hudební scéna jako taková máš tam nějaké top kapely oblíbence nebo něco co by tě eventuálně zaujalo Yeah, it's, it's 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 not so easy because I'm not following every band which comes on the market, especially this year. It's nothing new, you know, it's all about old classic bands, uh, nobody's playing live. But the last band I really liked um, since two years, I'm following them, is Ginger from Ukraine. I love them. And I even tried to get in contact for mixing or working with them, but they never answered me. So. Rolande, žiješ na Slovensku. Jak je to u tebe se slovenskými kapelami? Sleduješ i tuhle scénu? Oh, yes, of course I worked with so many, you know, like... Um, of course, it's Marian Grigsa, is one of my, my friends from Slovakia, uh, Grigsa Bad. And... Uh, I had Wizen Silence, I think, two, three years ago, working with... Um, So many, I don't remember the names. It's so bad, sorry. <laughs> okay. ještě chvilinku na Slovensku, kde žiješ. Umíš slovensky? No. <laughs> I know many words, I know many little sentences and uh, I, I stopped uh, learning like 10 years ago or something because I always had um, customers uh, which speaks English or German. Yeah. And uh, I'm not going out, to be honest. I'm, I'm just go shopping, mm -hmm. buying food. And I'm sitting with my, my wife all the time, with my doggy uh, at home and working in the studio all the time. So that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm a bit... Uh, it's strange when you see somebody on stage in front of sound people sometimes, not this year. But uh, I like to contact them with people. But normally I'm really... Uh, a lot alone. I like it, you know. I don't uh, even like. I don't even like to Skype. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I I tell you something. I opened the Skype now after six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was there was a message. Some guy wanted to get in contact with me, and I just saw it now before we talked. After six yeah. months. Yeah. It's funny. Tak Slovensko teď nechme na chvilku být, pojďme k muzice, pojďme k masterplan. Co se Rolande aktuálně u téhleté kapely děje? 
Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing in a moment since a couple of months. Um, this year I was mixing a couple of bands. Um, Lords of Black just released a new album. Um, one band from Russia. Again, I forgot the name. You know, and I'm waiting for another band from China now. So I'm getting more international. That's great. And but in the meantime, when I'm not busy mixing, um, I'm writing songs now for Masterplan. So I think I wrote 15, 20 ideas already. Mm -hmm. And I want to continue the next two, three months. Choose the best from the best. And then uh, we're recording the new album. Prosím tě s čínskou kapelou. To nebývá běžné. Jak jste se kontaktovali? Oni kontaktovali tebe nebo ty je? Jak vůbec k té spolupráci došlo? No, they, they contacted me because uh, they liked the mix I did for Lords of Black, the last album, mm -hmm. yeah. which came two years ago. And now, now they recorded and just wrote me a week ago that they sending me the material in one week. So mm -hmm. I was. So that's that's great that. Um, When you mix something and people like it, they're contacting you, you know? I never contacted any band except Ginger Soup. <laughs> Zpátky k Masterplan. Ve vaší historii se objevila spousta zpěváků. Mohl by si je tak trošičku porovnat, ať už to jsou jména Jorn Lande, Mike Dimeo nebo současný Rick Alci. No a mimochodem, co ty a zpěv? Yeah. And... I sing sometimes, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what should I say? Uh, we started, of course, with a singer in Masterplan. I tell you from the beginning. Yeah. The first singer we wanted to have was, before we had Masterplan as a real band, was uh, Russell Allen. So he was the first one. He was singing some demo tapes. I mm. still have it. And then he said he doesn't want to join the band. I was asking Mikey Kiske. But He said no, because he didn't like metal so much. And uh, but he was singing heroes, parts of heroes. Mm -hmm. And then I found Jorn. So Jorn was the main singer from the beginning. Uh, before we we recorded the album already, but he was the only guy who sang on the album. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we did two albums. Then he lost a bit interest. I don't know. He wanted to be a solo artist and. Uh, then we needed to find a new singer and that wasn't easy because Johan has a strong uh, voice and impact on the first two albums and uh, so we found Mike DeMeo. Mm -hmm. Mike DeMeo is a great guy, great singer, mm -hmm. I love his voice. It was easy to work with him but we thought he's not the right guy on stage. You know, we, we felt he's a bit too shy, too... not insecure but uh, not powerful, you know, like a metal guy. And uh, because Mike DeMeo is a, is a really uh, rock singer, bluesy, he likes soul music a lot. He's a fantastic keyboard player. He, he, I think he's busy now as a keyboard player a lot and for other projects. So we agreed uh, not to work in the future. So then I found John back, you know, for Time to be King. And I had big hope. Um, I, I promised to Jorn to make a compromise on Time to be King to make not so many German metal parts because he doesn't like it. So we made a, a different sounding album, which I really like. I think Time to be King is a very grown up uh, adult record, you know. But Jorn left immediately after the album was finished. Uh, we, we wanted to tour. We had already uh, tour dates, we had Masters of Rock booked already, but Johan left. And uh, so I made a break, I, I was writing songs, I was um, waiting for a message of Johan, but he never answered me. Mm -hmm. So I wrote the songs for Novo Menizium, still for Johan, but then he didn't answer me and I just found Rick Alzi. And since since then, Rick is our singer, and it's great to work with him and to we have many gigs together. I think more than hundreds or 150. I don't remember, it didn't count. And on the next album, of course, he will sing as well. And maybe me, some parts as well, okay. because I love to sing. Tak jste to slyšeli. Třeba nás čeká překvapení na nové desce Masterplan, protože Roland Grapo rád zpívá. Jestli to tomu tak je, tak to si povíme už za týden v dalším díle Backstage Home Office. Naším hostem opět bude Roland Grapo. 